Jupitist. Joy of Preparation. UGC Net English, and Paper One Online Test Portal. Female Authors from India. A woman is questioned, in every aspect of the society, and every time she has proved, herself stronger with flying colors. In the world of literature, female authors have made major contributions. They brought revolutionary changes through their writing and creative skills. Jumpahiri. She believes, in falling in love with the language. Her famous works, Interpreter of Maladies, 1999, which won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 2000. The Namesake, 2003. The Lowland, 2013, was shortlisted for the Booker Prize. Lahiri published her first novel in Italian, Dove Me Trovo, 2018. Arundhati Roy. The first Indian women, to have won the prestigious, Man Booker Prize in 1997 for the God of Small Things. She is also a political activist, involved in human rights, and environmental causes. Roy expressed her support, for the independence of Kashmir. Roy has campaigned, along with activist Meda Potkar, against the Narmada Dam project. In response to India's testing of nuclear weapons in Pokhran, Roy wrote The End of Imagination, 1998. She has criticized, the Indian government's armed actions, against the Naxalite Maoist insurgency in India. In 2013, Roy called Narendra Modi's nomination, as Prime Minister a tragedy. Roy describing the Indian government's response, to the COVID-19 pandemic, as a crime against humanity. Kiran Desai. The youngest, Indian female author, to receive Man Booker Prize, for fiction in 2007, for her, The Inheritance of Loss, 2006. She has used, the technique of magic realism, and socio-cultural realism in her novels. Her first novel Hullabaloo in the Guava Orchard, 1998, has presented different perspectives of life. She is an established, diasporic writer of Indian origin, who presents Indians, as protagonists in her fiction. Her novels generally narrate, about Indian immigrants, who struggle to settle in an alien country, usually America. Anita Desai. Her childhood days, serve as a major theme in her novels. Many of her novels, explore the state of middle class women, and the tensions, that exist in these families. She has been shortlisted, for the Booker Prize three times. She received, Sashitya Academy Award in 1978, for her novel, Fire on the Mountain. Her first novel is, Cry the Peacock, 1963. Fire on the Mountain, 1977, is the only novel of Desai in, which nature plays a vital role. Shashi Deshpande. Shashi won the Sashitya Academy Award, 1990, for that long silence, but she returned later on for protest, against Academy's perceived inaction. She won Padma Shri Award in 2009. Shashi's novels, deal with the women, belonging to Indian middle class. Her heroines are in a realistic manner. That Long Silence, 1988, which she says that, it is her most autobiographical one. Asha Purna Devi. She was awarded Nanpith Award, Padma Shri in 1976, and Sashitya Academy Fellowship in 1994. When Asha Purna was 13, her poem Baradak, The Call from the Outside, was published. Her trilogy, Pratishruti, 1964, Subhanalata, 1967, and Bakul Katha, 1974, symbolizes an endless struggle, for women to achieve equal rights. Her Rocho Nabali, collected works, are published in ten volumes. Mahaswita Devi. Mahaswita notable literary works include, Hojacha Shiyama, Rudali, and Aranya Adhikar. She worked for the rights, and empowerment of the tribal people. She was honored, with Sashitya Academy Award, Nanpith Award, Padma Shri, and Padma Vibhu Shan. Devi wrote over 100 novels, and over 20 collections of short stories. Her first novel, titled Jansa Rani, 1956, based on a biography of the Rani of Jhansi. Indian scholar Gayatri Chakravorty Spivak has translated Davy's short stories, Imaginary Maps, 1995, Old Woman, 1997, 
The Breast Stories, 1997. Gayatri Chakravorty Spivak. Spivak is an Indian scholar, literary theorist, and feminist critic. Spivak is best known for her essay, Can the Subaltern Speak? and for her translation of introduction to Jacques Derrida's De la Grammatologie. In 2013, she received the Padma Bhushan. In a critique of postcolonial reason, 1999, Spivak launched the concept of sanctioned ignorance, for the reproducing and foreclosing of colonialist structures. Spivak coined the term strategic essentialism, which refers to a sort of temporary solidarity, for the purpose of social action. Kamala Das. Kamala's notable works include Summer in Calcutta, 1965, The Descendants, 1967, The Old Playhouse, and Other Poems, 1973, Alphabet of Lust, 1976, Adolfo the Child Prostitute, 1977, and Padmavati the Harlot, 1992. Her pen name Modivikati. Her best known work is The Autobiography in Malayalam, Enter Katha, 1973, in English as My Story, 1976. Das explores powerful themes of feminism, equal rights, freedom, and marriage in the poem An Introduction, which first appeared in her summer in Calcutta, 1965. My mother at 66 portrays the different stages of life, and how everybody grows old, and faces various situations that life throws at them. On account of her extensive contribution to the poetry in our country, she earned the label, the mother of modern Indian English poetry. Jupitist wished to pay respectful regards to the female writers. Thank you. Follow us. Jupitist.